Freddy, it's Fiddle Day again. When Starlander's thoughts turn to music and Princess Vega's thoughts turn to Altair's band. Now that is a kickin' sound. The business. Where'd she learn to talk like that? Don't know, but I think she thought we were good. Of course we're great, but we gotta get real instruments and, and, and gaudy costumes. <laughs> real instruments, Beetle? Maybe. Costumes? No thanks. But I'm really glad she liked it. Isn't it an incy wincy bit boring? I mean, I'm quite musical, you know, and I like something harmonious for humming. Melodical music. Oh, do be quiet, Humbleton. Musical my foot. This anthem has saluted Starish royalty for generations. I'd be very, very upset if this glorious music could not be heard in the palace. You think this music kicks? Ha! Huh, it's like a sleep snoring. Vega, how dare you? This is outrageous. You've insulted the musicians. Please, excuse her rudeness. You play wonderfully. Do stay. Oh, you insensitive, arrogant girl! The medal ceremony is just days away, and we have no musicians, thanks to you! Go to your room! Oh, dear. Well, if we don't have music, I suppose I shall have to make a very long speech. Oh, no! <laughs> At least you remember how to open the case. Yes. It's been a while, hasn't it? Can you still play the tune I taught you? Hmm. Practice for a month and it might be safe to play that in public. Ah, Princess Vega. Come to admire Altair's playing, have you? Well, as a matter of fact, Gosho, yes. Altair's band is to play at the medal presentation ceremony on Fiddle Day. My band? But... but what about the clowns? They've retired. So you can begin practicing at the palace tomorrow. Tomorrow? All right, Princess, if you say so. Halt! It's all right, there with me. Now, Mother's very keen to have you play but she doesn't want you practicing here, so you must take the instruments away. Please, be very quiet. We mustn't upset Mother's beauty sleep. Shh! Uh -huh. Oops, sorry. Oh! Hmm. Mm -hmm. Isn't that lovely music? You must be hearing things. Our musicians are gone. Oh, then the music must be in my head. Yet it seems to be out there, calling to me. I must find it. My own composition. What nonsense. And if it's in your head, that's probably where you should leave it. The musicians simply must return. I shall summon them. Tumpty, tumpty. Tumpty, tumpty. Yeah, yeah. But Gasho's tune is a lot less boring. But the anthem is what they want us to practice. Uh oh, here comes the king. Okay, all together, the anthem. No, 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 no. The music calling to me was far superior. I must search further. On, on. Hey, Altair's right. This is really boring. Welcome, welcome. We are all so pleased that you are returning to play for us. Yes, yes, I'm sorry for Vega's remarks. But now you must resume your rehearsals. In the middle of the night, thieves came and stole your instruments? Oh, no! Hark! 
waves playing. Guards, go with the musicians to recover their instruments. And if those hooligans give you the slightest trouble, report them to me. Hey, I'm playing music here. But Orson, we've got to rehearse for the ceremony because you retired. They haven't retired. The Queen has ordered them to play the ceremony. So I wore my lips away for nothing. Oh, great, Altair. Royalty likes our music. Huh? Princess Vega, what's going on? The clowns took the instruments back. Oh, they must have changed their minds and persuaded Mother to let them play. But, Your Highness, we thought your mother wanted us to play. Of course, she does. Well, she will. I was persuading her. I mean, the clown's music is the least kick and sound ever. I just think they should try something different. Something not like Orson's band. Different? You mean like with better music? That too. But it's really got to be kicking alive and swinging. Like, like wearing costumes? Exactly. That's just what I mean. Gaudy costumes, and we'll get new instruments. Yeah, my uncle was in a band. And I'll borrow Gasho's saxophone. The junk shop's full of old instruments. That's brilliant. Let's get started. We'll make the kickin'est band Starlin ever saw. Yeah. <laughs> So many in instruments, everybody's got to play, too. Now get ready and meet me after dark at the orchard gate. Don't worry, I'll get you in to play at the palace. I hope she knows what she's doing. Ah, uh, but what the heck. Okay, but we've got to practice with these new instruments. That's if we can play them. Let's go. Is this where I am? You haven't heard a tune calling for me, have you? Quite beautiful. No? Oh, where can it be? I don't know. I feel... stupid? You look great. We look like a real band. Oh, yes. That's it. Over there. Traveling musicians! How wonderful! No, no, don't stop. You're playing my tune. I've only just composed it, and you've learned to play it already. Excellent! This is absolutely marvelous. I am the king, you see. I own the palace. Please, come and play there. And I'll meddle thingy. It would be an honor, Your Majesty. Where is the king? Has anyone seen him? The king approaches, ma'am, with musicians. Oh, no! He can't! Altair! Altair! Are you there? Oh, no! What can have happened to them? I thought I could trust Altair. And so, in acknowledgement of their extreme silliness, above and beyond the call of duty, in falling off islands frequently, to be rescued by our heroic lifesavers, Clayton and Clive, I have awarded them all uh, What was it? Medals of Honor. I'm sorry. Yes, Medals of Honor. And now, I want you all to hear my new... Come along, dear. Now that we have musicians, we don't need a long speech from you. But the foreign musicians must play. My composition must be heard. Play, play. to uh, be here already. Isn't it dreadful? 
I was blaming you, my dear, for our musical chaos. But it was your father who invited these brands. He says they're foreign. What rubbish! I composed this, you know. Good, isn't it? I think I'll write a symphony next. Let me know if you happen to come across one. The band is a big success, Vega. Even your mother likes them. Just look at her feet. Yeah, they're kicking. That's business. And even if mother is not, at least she's tapping. So, in the end, everyone enjoyed Altair's new tune. Even the queen. At least her funny-looking feet did. 